right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to talk about rank one matrices because it turns out there's a very neat characterization of matrices which are rank one. And in case you don't remember what the rank is, it's simply the number of pivots. So rank of A is just the number of pivots of A. Strictly speaking, I'll get to that later, it's the dimension of the column space. Now, first of all, what would matrices of rank zero look like? Zero means no pivots, which is just the zero matrix. So it would sound, be something like that, I don't know. Uh, let's do today like a three by four matrices, just to show you that um, you could have ranks of non-square matrices. Now, what would it mean for a matrix to have rank one? It really means that there is one pivot. So you could have a matrix like that, one, zero, 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 but also matrices like that, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Because if you row reduce this, then it turns out you just get one, 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 zero, bunch of zeros, so there would just be one pivot here. But also, matrices like this, one, two, three, and then, I don't know, uh, two, four, six, and then three, six, eight, and then uh, four, eight, 12. Turns out if you row reduce this, you can also get, uh, um, what's it called, uh, a matrix of rank one. And in fact, notice there's something peculiar here, namely all those vectors are multiple of this vector. And in fact, this is the typical case for rank one matrices. And here's why. So suppose A has rank one. Has rank one. Now remember rank, another characterization is simply, it's the dimension of the column space of A. Now column space is just the space spanned by the columns of A. So what you're telling me is that the column space of A is just one dimensional, which means the following. It means the column space of A is just a line going through the origin. Which, um, in this case, I think the columns are size three, so it's a line that goes through zero, zero, zero. In particular, it has a basis. Let's call it U. So column space of A is the span of U. Which means, what does it, so by the way, here, for example, a basis for the column space would just be one, two, three. Say one, two, three. What does that mean for the column space to the span of this vector? It means all the other vectors, they're multiples of that vector. So really, what A would look like, it would look like, I don't know, uh, C1, or I guess just, a U B V so B U C U D U and in fact that's precisely what we have here one two three and then multiples of that like two four six three six eight four eight twelve so here we would have A is one B is two C is three and D is four now it turns out we can actually write this as a nicer way. This is actually the same as u times uh, this vector. So uh, um, let's see, how can I write this? Uh, yeah, a, b, c, d. And again, let me illustrate this in our matrix here. So it turns out if you have the matrix one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then <laughs> wrong matrix. Uh, one, two, three, two, four, six, three, six, eight, and four, eight, twelve. You can indeed write this as one, two, three, 
and 1, 2, 3, 4. Because you know this is 1 times 1, 2, 3, 2 times 1, 2, 3, 3 times 1, 2, 3, and 4 times 1, 2, 3. Okay, let me just check. And notice, indeed, it works out with the dimensions, with the dimensions of the matrix. Because this is 3 times 1, and then this is uh, 1 times 4. Now, maybe based on this example, we like column vectors, so how can you write this in terms of column vectors? We have 1, 2, 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4 transpose. So indeed, if you let V be the coefficient, then this is just U V transpose. So any matrix that has rank 1 can be written as UV transpose. And later I'll show uh, any matrix of this form has to have rank 1. And uh, why is this significant? This is what's sometimes called the outer product of U and V. Of U and V. In other words, any matrix of rank 1 is written as an outer product of two vectors. And, um, and which is nice, it gives you a complete characterization of rank 1 matrices. Now, why is it called outer product? Because it's related to the inner product, u dot v, and let me explain you why. What, is, what does it mean to do u dot v? Let's say u is, I don't know, uh, 1, 2, 3, and v is 4, 5, 6. Technically, u v, u dot v is 1 times 4, plus 2 times 5, plus 3 times 6. But it turns out another way of writing this, it's simply 1, 2, 3 times 4, 5, 6. If you think of it in terms of matrix multiplication, it becomes a one by one matrix where you literally dot this. And this is simply, if this is U, well, this is U, U transpose V. Because uh, U is one, two, three, while U transpose is one, two, three. So U transpose V is just the dot product, and that's sometimes called the inner product. What we had here was that A was UV transpose. So in the reverse order, and because we're taking the reverse order, this is the outer product. So this is why we call this the outer product. Lastly, let me show you that if A is of the form UV transpose, it's always rank. Well, what I want to show you is simply that the column space, show that the column space of A is just the span of U. Right? That would show that the column space is uh, um, one-dimensional, provided that U is non-zero and if it is, well, it's a zero matrix, so the claim would be false. But, uh, well, what does it mean? It means, so let's take a random vector w. Okay, let's calculate aw. Well, that becomes u v transpose w. And here's a cool thing. This is the same as u v transpose w. But that's just the dot product of the two. So this is u times v dotted with w. And that's just a number. So it really just becomes cu, where c is v dotted with w. In other words, if you take any element in the column space, so any element of the form aw, it's just a multiple of u. That's why the column space is the span of u. Um, 
at least, no, that's why the column space is included in the span of U. So, so far, we've shown that the column space of A is actually included in the span of U. And now let's actually show the opposite, that the span of U is included in the column space of A. And it's actually based on a really neat trick. Let's calculate AV. So it's UV transpose V. And that's U V transpose V. And that just becomes, this is just V dotted with V. So in other words, length of V squared times u. But look, v is non-zero, because if v is zero, then a would be the zero matrix, which wouldn't have rank one. So in particular, this is non-zero, and we can divide by normal v squared, and we get u is one over length of v squared, a v. And in particular, this shows that u, or almost, so this is a times v over length of v squared. And this shows that u is of the form a something, which means that u is in the column space of a. In particular, any multiple of u is also in the column space of a. And so we get that the span of u is included in the column space of a, and therefore they are indeed equal. So matrices of this form, <laughs> If, if none of them were zero, then they have rank one at most. Um, all right, so I hope you like this outer product excursion. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.